The self-improvement world is a crazy place. All this different information from all of these different people. Don't eat this. Wake up early. Cut this out of your diet. The information is literally endless. But I always wonder how many of these people are actually practicing what they are preaching. Do they really do all of these different things every single day? Because at this point, I think we all are aware that every single person online is not exactly how they are claiming. I decided I wanted to be transparent with all of you. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I realistically eat in a given day as a young man who is trying to get bigger, smarter, more successful, and overall just live a better life. Starting the day off with some brekkie. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some pancakes and we got some eggs, both made by my lovely little lady who does not want to be on camera. She's disappeared, but we are about to feast. I'm going to put the calorie count up on screen so we all know where we're at on the calories for the day, but hey, there's nothing like a little pancake and egg breakfast, let's be honest. Bon appetit! We got supper here. Whole bunch of pancakes. I want two, four, six pancakes. How many eggs would you say this is, baby? Three eggs, two pancakes, three eggs. Breakfast is about to go dummy hard, my boy. We got some syrup. Now look, this is not the best thing for you whatsoever. But man, it's about to taste good. Food down the hatch, ladies and gentlemen. I am freaking stuffed. So here's the weird line that I try to balance with my diet. Like whenever I'm thinking of eating something, obviously I don't have a strict diet that I follow every single day. Or like some of these people who have a very strict routine that they stick to every single day and it doesn't waver one bit. Personally, I don't want to live my life like that. Like sure, I love my routine but I don't want to have the same things happening every day, not being able to go and do other activities because it's outside of what my routine allows. It just seems kind of like a waste of life to me personally, but it's a their own. So I don't have a strict routine that I follow every day. Like for example, I was just up at my girlfriend's, now I'm driving down to my house. Like this is not an everyday thing and it kind of throws off your groove, if you know what I'm saying. Today, what I'm eating and how I am living my day is gonna be completely different. So there's a few basic ground rules that I'm gonna be following them and I'll put them up on screen here for my diet just to try to give me the best overall life and to hopefully help me gain more weight and muscle mass and just to feel a whole lot better first one is i'm trying to avoid seed oils at all costs so vegetable oil canola oil all of that stuff get it out of your diet it's hard to avoid let me tell you that much fast food everywhere is going to cook with seed oils and i'm not perfect obviously you saw what i ate for breakfast i'm not perfect i'm also just trying to eat healthy whatever that means for you. So if that's eating fruit whenever it's available over some sort of processed foods, say no to a specific treat you might have liked, doing that wherever possible because those little wins are gonna go a very long way in the grand scheme of things. And finally, just really trying to eat enough, enough for me personally. So you need to calculate how much you actually need to be eating in a given day to either gain or lose weight based off your needs. You're gonna to wanna to track your calories for a little bit just as you get into the group of things, seeing how many calories, how much stuff you have to eat in order to hit that goal. And then from there, I don't track it every single day, me personally. I track it some days. Eventually you kinda of just get into the groove of it and figure out what works, what doesn't work, how much you need to eat. But those are the three main guys guidelines that I follow on a given day, it's gotten me pretty good up until this point. But eventually, if you want to get to the point where everything is locked in and solidified, which I will at some point, it's just crazy right now, you're going to have to have a routine. Enough of that little yap sesh. On a real note, I am going to be getting a new car here pretty soon. Surprise, new car is coming up. Uh, I have zero clue on what car I want to get. So, what I want you to do, I know a lot of you guys are car people, you love cars, probably know a whole lot more about cars than me. Comment down below your recommendation on which car I should get, and we should be seen here in the next couple of weeks to a month, on which car What's I got. Up, What's up, Smith? What's up, boys? Made it back home, ladies and gentlemen, just in time for a little lunch and then go hit a little arm day workout. All right, so we got some bratwurst here. Honestly, some meat would be ideal right now. Only problem is these things expired five days ago. So I'm not sure if I trust them or not, to be honest with you. <sighs> Another slight little problem is it is 4.44 as of right now, and we're probably gonna eat dinner in about two hours. So I can't have a huge meal. It took me a little bit longer to get home. There was so much traffic. So 
I need like a big enough meal to get my calories in, but at the same time, I can't eat too big a meal because then I won't be able to eat dinner. Chicken pot pie. Honestly, my boy, calorie wise, these are kind of goaded. They have 610 calories, 17 grams of protein. I think this is gonna do for us. Someone was busting down on some tomatoes, but I don't think I trust those things. Pot pie and some sort of side. Not sure what exactly my side's gonna okay, be. I don't know if vitamins are technically part of my, what I eat in a day, but I chew some of them, so I'm just gonna put it in, because why not, and what, worst case, you might learn something new. So I've been trying to like dial down on my supplement stack. I've been taking the same vitamins for a long time for the most part, but I've been trying to like add and subtract things here and there on what I wanna take. As of right now, here's what I'm taking. I'm taking some multivitamins, so I'm gonna bust down on those today. I am taking some omega-3 fish oil. We don't get enough omega-3 in our diet, so it's very important that you take something or make sure that you're eating something, ideally, that gives you those. I'm taking some lysine. In one of my past videos, I was talking about how freaking much I hate cankers and how bad I get cankers. A ton of people in the comments were talking about, oh, yo, I get cankers too, blah, blah, blah. So you're not alone, trust me. I have found that doing lysine, taking this has helped me a whole bunch when it comes to cankers. So try it out and see if it helps you. So I'm taking that. Ashwagandha, I'm taking on and off, depending. It's like a loading phase, unloading phase type of thing. So I've been off of it for a while, but I think I'm gonna hop back on that again here, um, maybe in like the next week or so. So I'm including that. And then we got some magnesium that I take at night. I also finally am reintroducing a probiotic, which I think I have down in my room. Oh no, it's right here. I'm also taking the probiotic again. I was taking that for a long time. Hopped off of it. I was listening to a podcast on my way home though, talking about probiotics. So I'm gonna try it again and see what I think. Yes. So chicken pot pie, whipping up. I'm about to bust down on that super quickly here. And then I gotta hurry and go hit a little arm day before dinner. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get that grind on. Okay, I know I said I was going to work out, but what the freak is this? Can you see that? On my bedroom window, it's like maple syrup. Who's pouring maple syrup on my window? That's not cool. Oh, shoot. Look at this praying mantis. Is this a praying mantis? Oh, it's dead. Bro, look at that thing. That thing is huge. Okay, now workout time for real. interruption because holy frick dude my shoulders are my weakest point but my pump right now is going crazy hold up i'm gonna throw up this picture i just took oh this might be the cleanest shoulder pump i've gotten in a long time my boy let's go all right let's finish this Workout success, let's freaking go. And now the final part, the pump check. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Pump went absolutely freaking insane today. But I'm cooked. It is dinner time. What we got cooking for dinner? We got some bratwurst, some hamburgers, some tater tots, fries. You know what's so funny? I was looking at these bratwurst earlier, uh -huh. trying to decide what to eat. I was like, these things are expired. No, they're not. It's really bottom. <laughs> no way. They got delivered yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at some other ones. So hopefully I make it out of here alive. But I got two bratwurst I'm about to bust down on, and a hamburger, tater tots, very and wow, sweet potato God. fries. What's the expiration date on? <laughs> they are. Thanks. Dang. That's the best one. That boy's so just so inspired, dog. Fine. Actually, <laughs> Actually, I'm sure I'll survive. I'll be making it out of here in life. Delivered yesterday, which half of these are. So you're either gonna, there's a, let's see, there's five of these. So there's like a 20% chance what you're eating too. So if your chances are high that you're gonna be fine. I feel good about it. I may or may not see you All after that dinner. would happen is you get some diarrhea and you should be freaking grateful if you do. I do not want no diarrhea. Me personally. A good cleansing is good for the soul and the body, the mind, and the spirit. Wisdom for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I think after dinner you should put corn in a headlock. <laughs> oh, no. Should we wrestle shirtless too? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Dinner down the hatch, and let me tell you, that boy hit the spot. I am freaking stuffed. Eating is not done for the day, so whenever I recover, re-up, it's time for the final meal of the day, which is the most important one. But bruh, I was thinking about it because I was talking with my mom just barely 
about how easy it is to compare yourself to other people, bro, and how much it will take away your happiness. So for example, going along the lines with this video, you can look at my life and what I eat and claim I do on a daily basis. You do not know if I do this on a daily basis or if I'm just doing it for, for the video. Like there's a lot of people who will say, yeah, I wake up at 5 a.m. every day and then they'll post something on their story like two months later and they're going to bed at like 12 p.m. It's like you don't wake up at five every single day if that's the case. That's not very feasible. You're not getting five hours of sleep every night and being a healthy individual, preaching how sleep is so important. Long story short, it's very easy to compare yourself and the things you are not doing to other people's lives on what they claim they are doing. So you just need to focus on you, focus on doing what you can do best and being better than you yesterday. If you do that every single day, it does not matter what anyone else around you is doing because you're improving and that's all that matters. With that speech out of the way, I'm gonna let my tummy digest these foods and we eat any can. Ending off the day with three grilled cheeses, which puts my calorie count to whatever it is on screen here. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully around 3000 calories or so is the ideal goal. Uh, I had some orange juice and stuff. It's a liquid, so I didn't technically count that, but this is my food calories only. So that's what I eat in a day, ladies and gentlemen. It changes every single day. So if you wanna see me trying hard and what I would eat on an ideal basis, then let me know in the comments or any other videos you wanna see. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.